Street is considered one of the most popular areas in Madison, but business owners there say there's a problem with crime. It comes just after the shooting that happened Saturday night outside of Ian's Pizza. Police arrested three people believed to be involved. Jamie Perez joins us live from where that shooting happened. And Jamie, what are business owners saying about the issue? Well, you guys, a lot of business owners do acknowledge that there is a problem when it comes to crime in the area. A lot of people saying that the problem has just gotten progressively worse, saying that the incident, the shooting on Saturday, merely proves their case. But even with all of that said, they say that overall it's still a fairly safe area. But it's the people that frequent State Street the most that say that change needs to happen. No one knew anything. It just, wow, that was it. Frederick Burton was here Saturday night when he heard the gunshots. It took off. That way, that way, I was laying on the ground. When I laid down, I stayed down. While a lot of people can run for cover and return home to safety in these situations, this is Burton's safety, and State Street is his home. When the shots was fired, that made everybody nervous because there was kids out here. Anybody could have got kids could have got hit. Anybody. Burton's been living on State Street since 1992, and over the years, it's getting worse. While many business owners fear the increase in crime may deter their customers, Burton says this is also a problem for the homeless community here who don't cause any trouble. We are State Street. And to not to feel safe, uncomfortable, or welcome, that's not cool. Many business owners didn't want to go on the record, but told me off camera, crime is up at night. They've seen things like drug deals, prostitution, and more recently, a shooting. State Street is safe overall. Come down enjoy it. I think everybody knows this. But there's a problem down here that needs to be addressed. Despite knowing about the crime here, Nate Mergen opened this bar on State Street three weeks ago. I feel that if we don't continue to try to evolve the block, uh, we just run away from things, then nothing's going to get better. Mergen said keeping State Street busy and filled with good intentioned people will hopefully deter crime from happening. But he says there's more work to be done to make things safer. The 100 block of State Street where I'm located, there are a number of issues here, and it's with the homeless, and it's also with, you know, the, the transigent or the, the people that aren't necessarily homeless, but the people that are hanging around here. For people like Burton who don't have a space to go, he's hoping State Street gets safer for his community, too. They're working people. We got people that are homeless, and they still work, and they want to have a, a good place to, to chill out at. Business owners told me off camera that they are trying to work with the city to make this a better place, but they say that they hope that community members aren't deterred by the number of crimes, that this is a generally safe place. They're hoping the community continues to show up, and they say this will take a community to make this as safe a place as possible. Jamie Perez reporting tonight on State Street. Jamie, thank you.